So here in our database file, the database films by Chris and the tables users, um, I've shown you how to add and delete columns, and I've shown you how to add rows, uh, but let's look at how you can delete a row. Uh, deleting a row is fairly simple. It's going to be a pretty short tutorial. We're just going to say delete, and we're going to say from, and the name of our table, which is users. And what are we going to delete? We're going to delete any row. And let's just case, I mean, in the last tutorial, we added a whole bunch of just repeated rows here, basically. So let's, let's uh, lower this down. Let's uh, delete from users where, and we'll just say sex equals M. So we're going to remove all the males. We'll hit enter. Oh, forgot our semicolon. Doesn't matter. You can hit it here if you hit enter by accident. And it says it affected 15 rows, so it removed 15 rows. Now if we select all from users, you can see there's only the females left, Billy Gate and my wife Jennifer Acapinti. So that's a quick way of looking at uh, how to remove uh, rows. And once again, you can combine this. So if you said where sex equals male, let's here, let's remove where sex equals female, which at this point would delete everything because everyone is a female that's left in the database. But we can say end. Um, and we'll say f name equals Billy. Semicolon. We'll hit enter. It affected five rows. If we view it now, you can see that the only things left is um, basically my wife Jennifer multiple times. And we're going to get into uh, restoring databases in the next tutorial. So. Now that we've completely messed up this database, let's look how we can import the information back into it properly.